howdy howdy y'all it's shannon from creative chaos in tennessee and today i'm gonna do something completely different um a little bit out of my wheelhouse i am going to do a timu haul video now i just wanted to say straight out the gate that this is my happy place um i do this for fun I am not a Timu affiliate. I spent my own money and bought this stuff. Um, and Lord knows I don't really need any more crafting stuff. Um, but it is nice to get new things, especially when I'm not a keeping up with the Jones type of person. Um, like getting all the new collections, things like that. I like to use up what I have. So, um... A friend turned me on to Timu, and I have to say, I love it. Now, there's lots of bad stuff that's been said out there. Um, I saw the news articles and heard everyone's opinion, and I respect that. Everyone has their own opinion. Um, you know, everyone has the right to choose where they shop and what they can afford, um, you know, with everything going up, you know, crafty supplies is kind of at the bottom of my list, um, on what I can spend because with groceries and gas and everything else, it's crazy town. Um, so I like the fact that Timu is cheap. Now, some of the stuff that I've got on Timu, I have bought on Amazon for probably triple the price. Were the sellers also from China on Amazon? Yes. Was it shipped from China? Yes. So, um, you know, there's lots of things that said, um, I'm not un-American just because I shop on Timu. Um, I'm very much American, have military ties. Um, but, you know, pretty much everything these days comes from China. Um, all the, you know, crafty companies, all their stuff is made in China, and we're just buying it for, you know, four or five times or higher markup. Um, so if I can save money where I can, I will, um, and still be able to play and, you know, to be able to craft and scrapbook and make cards and all those great things that I love to do. So, um, I have watched quite a few Timu haul videos from other people, and I wanted to do mine a little bit different, because I'm not going to show y'all everything that I've bought from Timu. Um, if this video goes well, um, and the haters stay away, <laughs> I may do another video and break, break some stuff down, um based on what I've purchased. But what I wanted to do was actually show examples of the item being used because I haven't saw that on any other single Timu um, haul that I have watched. So, um, I have, I think, 21 um, items and it's all dies. Um, I might do the stamps in a different video. Um, but I just wanted to do these and show. So I'm going to show y'all each one. I'm going to stand up so that I can see what y'all see. Okay, so I have this, and I'll try to put the links in the video um, below if it is available, because stuff tends to go out of availability. Um, but I will put it down below. Prices change all the time. They do do price adjustments um, on there, so that's just something to um, think about. I love this. Like, for it to be so detailed, it cuts so beautiful. Like, and I love it. Let's see here. I'll put this on this envelope. Um, but I love it. This, this was awesome. I probably paid a buck or something for it. Um, all the stuff I have, I have not paid a lot of money for. Um, generally, I mean, I'm cheap even on Timu. Um, like, $3 is usually my limit. 
So if it costs more than three dollars, I'm like, nope, sorry, gotta move along. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. Um, next is this die. Um, it's of a cone flower, and this is a card that I made with it. This is also Timu um, paper that I got, and I was actually very surprised um, with the quality of the paper because it's not like that really cheap, cheap scrapbook paper. I mean, it's not 49 in market, but um, it's actually a really good weight to it. So, I, I like it. But this is the die cut. Um, I did cut it out three times and then just trim the you know, pieces so I could have the yellow, the green, and the white. But, um, this also comes out so that you could actually just cut it out in your card. Um, but I wanted to leave it together and just, um, cut the little ring on it. So, there's that one. Um, this one is one that I was somewhat disappointed in because the picture looks so much bigger, but it's my own fault for not paying attention. But it is a bee, and after I cut them out, I was like, that is so cute. But, I mean, they're, you know, they're itty bitties. But, um, I really like them, um, and I could see me using these. And it cut out beautifully to be so small, so I was very surprised. Um, okay, this one, I don't have all the pieces cut out because I... Did them for a swap, so I've already gave most of them away. But pretty much, it is um, a log, as you can see. Um, it has multiple layers for it. There's also one that is a heart. It cuts out a heart log. And um, it has the alphabet so that you can put your initials in the tree. So... I really, um, like this one. Um, I think it's a, a dupe of a famous designer's, um, stuff, probably. I didn't know that until after I got it and got Googling stuff of ways to, that they used it to get ideas and saw, saw it on there, so. Um, let's see, what do I want to show next? Okay. So, this one is just this simple die, and I think it was like, probably like 98 cents or something, uh, but it cuts wonderfully. It's a memory dex card of a famous mouse. I don't want to say, um, like, the famous, you know, like, actual names, because I heard people's been getting their videos took down. So, yeah, let's, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. This one is a strawberry dye, and this is the strawberries I made from it. Um, it cuts, you know, you have the center piece left, and then this outside piece, and this is the inside, and this is the outside, and then I just backed it with um, some more red paper, and then added that. And then I took a white chalk marker and um, my white pen and just took and um, put the little dots in it for the strawberry. But, really cute. Um, this one, I left it together. It has two pieces to it. Um, and I thought, okay, it's not going to cut good. It's going to cut terribly. But, I was very surprised because it actually did cut really good with no problems. And, you have a big one and a little one. This would be cool to do a bunch of them. Um, and, you know... To use on a layout. Um, this one is a flower die. And you get three sizes. And then a leaf. And I want to say it comes with maybe another leaf. But maybe it don't. I don't know. Um, I have used it of course. But this is the flower that it makes. Super cute. Um, and you could, you know, bend the petals, whatever, to give it a little more depth. This one is a banner die. And it has four different banners. It's actually a really good size. 
can see it's as big as my hand. Um, and this is the banners. This would be cute because you could just cut, you know, two or three of them and it could go all the way across a 12 by 12 page. But these are super cute. Cuts great. This one, I don't remember if I showed it in another video, um, but this one is a watermelon um, dye, shaker dye, um, and these are the shakers I made um, with it, and use some filler that I bought from um, Timu also, but um, it just has the two pieces. It has the seeds. I did not cut those out. Um, I just added other stuff in it. But you could totally just make a regular watermelon that's flat and not um, do the shaker if you if you so desire. Um, I have this flower dye that y'all saw if you watched my other um, new rose flower video. And this is the flower that it makes. Excuse me. Um, and it has a very low profile, which is great for, um, scrapbook pages. Sorry, I'm trying to get the hiccups. <laughs> okay. Now, the next one is this mushroom. It's actually a pretty good size. And here it is cut out. And you could totally cut it multiple times to get different colors. That's what I did because it's just a single, single piece. And I'll honestly, I try to stay away from them. This is the other uh, mushroom set that I got. And I have done gave all the mushrooms away except for that one <laughs> that I made with it. But um, it was really easy. It cut out great um, to have such small pieces. lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was saying. Did I finish the thought? <laughs> okay. This one is a um, shaker tag that I ended up making using these heart dies that I got. Um, I only used two of them on there. But these cut out great. Um, I don't remember which one it is. Maybe it's this one that um, doesn't like to cut all the way. I usually use a shim in it. Um, to put a little more pressure on it, but I love them. Like, I cut it out, and then I went back and cut, took the die cut part from the paper and um, put it in there. Um, and I did a video on these that you could go back and watch if you so desire. Okay, the next one is this little heart. This heart, oh my goodness, I got hearts on the brain since looking at that tag. This bicycle, <laughs> there we go, um, and I used it for both of these, um, and these are just more shaker tags that I made, um, and I did these in a video, I'm pretty sure, I think so, um, but yeah, so super cute, had no issues, um, like with the wheels or anything, well, I mean, that was my own fault, messing that part up. But, um, they actually cut really good, um, surprisingly to me because of all the little small pieces and the spokes. Okay, this one is a famous magical wizard. Um, named Harry. <laughs> And these cut out great. I think I might back some of them. Um, I was thinking that I don't know what these are actually supposed to be. Um, I don't think they're tags. I don't know. Maybe they are. But I thought I would cut this part off to get rid of the little circle on top. And I could make like a border with them. Um, whenever I start doing the pages um, from Universal. So that was cool and it was like you know a dollar something I think okay um 
This one is super cute. I did not cut this part out with the flower and the little eyes. I just colored them in. But it has these two bunnies and an umbrella. And look how cute. Um, I used pattern paper. But this little bunny, um, his arm actually comes up so that he can hold, hold the umbrella. If I would not drop everything. But, I mean, it's super cute. And I'm assuming this one is supposed to... It, either he's laying down, chilling out, or he is kicking in the puddles, like kicking rain. I mean, you could put, like, little drops or whatever, and um, depending on what you was doing with it. But that was super cute. All right. Next. Next is these um, pumpkins. They're cutting weird colors because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I'm not even going to take these out, but it has all the layers um, for it. And I think this one's another um, dupe of a famous name brand person in the industry. And they turned out great once I figured out that I cut all the layers wrong <laughs> color wise because I was thinking this was a stem and it wasn't um but yeah I like the way these turned out they're like have all the layers to get really a layered look I don't know that I would use those a terrible lot because um they have a lot of pieces and it's hard to figure out where they go been looking at a picture to do it now this one is one of my favorites that i've got recently um and it is these paint brushes and they are super simple to put together you have your color this is the color part for the bottom and then the white brush part and then this is your little silver part for the supposed to be the metal and then of course the paint brush so you have four yeah yeah four pieces to the paintbrush and they are so detailed i absolutely love them i can't wait to make some layouts with these um it's gonna be amazing <laughs> trying to keep everything a little bit separated so dyes don't get mixed up when i put them away Okay, so then my next favorite is this cone flower that I got, and it has all these pieces, and I thought they was going to be like different um, cone flowers, but they weren't. They're all one, and it layers up, um, and this is one of them that I made, but look at all the little layers. Can y'all see that? But I love it. Um, I can't wait to make some more and scrapbook my pictures of my cone flowers from my garden this year. So, I love it. This one is... Still has a bunch of little bits and pieces left in it. Um, but this all came as one set. They stack inside of each other like this and I absolutely love how they look so this is before I took them apart they came stacked just like this um, inside of each other and I just went ahead and cut it exactly like it was and this is the pieces that I got from doing that Let's see. Maybe I'm missing one. I think I used it on something. But, um, pretty much this is what I got. So then I took them all apart individually, and you don't have the, the little line. Um, you get a full piece. So, this is the other one when it was still together. That's the missing one. And this is afterwards. Um, and... I love them. Like, they're super detailed. They cut beautifully. Um, 
this one you could even stitch around it so I really love that one and I can see me using it a lot since it's so big because like it's it's big it's bigger than the palm of my hand okay and last but not least we have this one and it's a big set and it's a barrel and all the little pieces I bought the the stamp and the die set for it so this is one of them this is one of them this is one of them now it has all these little extra things that could go with it but a kitty cat was one of them and I you know had to do my little extra stuff but um, there's different options for building these barrels. Um, it has, I don't know if you can tell, but this one's like really layered. And then you have this one. And um, all three of them's different. They give different looks. Um, but it's all the same set. But look how cute the cat is. And it has little extras like little extra apples, a butterfly, leaves, hearts. And all that stuff that can go with them. But um, I didn't do that since I was already just piecing them together. But I've had so much fun just sitting down and going through all my new goodies. And actually making it. See how it cuts. Because you um, hear a lot of negative stuff that things aren't good. That it's cheap quality and you don't get quality stuff. Um, but I have not found that to be true. Everything, um, there's only been a few dies that I've had an issue with. They refunded my money right away. Um, and it wasn't that it didn't cut. It's just like it didn't cut clean or something like that. So, um, I want to thank you guys for coming along. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Because I will, like I said, possibly make more. Like maybe using stamp sets, um, the stamp and die sets, things like that that I did get. Um, but I can't wait to just play using this stuff because, like, I mean, just taking this. I mean, look how good this looks to just build a cluster. This is me just picking up stuff over here. Let me find, um, you know, because... You know, y'all probably got somewhere to be, but hold on to your hats for just a minute. Um, you know, you could do another one with like, you know, an outdoor nature-y thing. Um, but like, I mean, how pretty is that to just, you know, work on building a cluster? Like, you know, you got your watermelons, um, these paint brushes. I can't wait to play with them and use some of my other dies with it um, to create a page, you know. But, so, like I said, um, thank you guys for joining me. Um, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe if you didn't already. And, look how cute, y'all. Like, I love it. Um, but until next time, bye y'all.